Hi guys, I just got back from the doctor and I had my first spinal steroid injection. Um, my sister took me to the doctor and before we went, we went to Walmart and had fun. And then we, I was supposed to be checked in at 2.30. It just said the surgery center, which is where my neurologist is, so I went there. That wasn't where I was supposed to go. They said it was downstairs, so I went downstairs to the first level. And it said wound healing. I was like, oh boy, you know. And they're like, no, you need to go outside and around to the corner. There it was. So I was like 10 minutes late getting checked in. But it's okay. The surgeon was way behind. Um, I wasn't released until after 5. Um, but it's okay. Um, but anyway, um, I probably won't know for a couple of days whether or not it's been a success or not. Part of me is like, I hope, I, I mean, not part of me, a lot of me, I'm hoping so because it was, it, I don't know how to explain it. It like hurt, but it didn't hurt. The part that hurt the most was the numbing stuff and when they're um, trying to find where to put the needle in with your, uh, um, with their fingers and like poking with something. I'm not sure what they're poking you with, but it felt like a needle. <clears throat> So, did that, and then they um, hooked me onto the all the wonderful monitors and stuff, and they let my sister come back, and we talked for a while. And then, well, time to do the actual procedure. Um, she went to the waiting room, because I just didn't think she'd want to see it. I don't know how she'd do. I would probably faint. And speaking of probably fainting, <laughs> we when it was time to do the actual um, epidural steroid part, um, when he started to um, do that, that's when I got really woozy and lightheaded. And I told him, I was like, I'm getting lightheaded, getting lightheaded. And they're like, lay down. I was like, oh my God. And I was getting sweaty, like I could feel the sweat, which happens before I, sorry, before I um, pass out or faint, whatever you want to call it. Um, I get really hot and sweaty and I can feel it and I just know that I'm going to pass out. Um, so yeah, and then I got this nice band-aid thing on my back. I don't know what it looks like, um, but I'm, I showed my, um, my sister saw it when I was getting changed and then my brother-in-law saw it. We went and picked up a couple pizzas to eat because we were really hungry and we left. And we were at the hospital for a good few hours. Um, so we just started talking stuff like that while we're going and had the blood pressure and the finger oxygen and tank on um so yeah um right now i can't tell we were i mean i can walk just like i normally do i'm not too wobbly but i have a horrible headache right now like a horrible headache and my um um back hurts really bad because you know i just got injected with a whole bunch of steroids and with a numbing shot and stuff so yeah they are not fun i mean it's not the most painful thing in the world, no. I mean, it really is not, but, and I know I just phrased that funny, but it's not the most painful thing that I've ever had to do, but it's really uncomfortable and it's a very long process. So, we're gonna see how this goes. I'll probably update in a couple days and tell you how it went. But, yeah, so, that's what happened. I spent most of my day doing that and I try to do some laundry, but, yeah yeah and um i'm gonna try to do a few um different types of videos coming soon if everything goes to plan which i'm hoping it does because that would be fun um but some people might like some people might not like i sort of have a very weird um, variety of um, content on my channel anyway, so I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be much different than what's already on. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, and I'm not sure I'll probably try to do a video tomorrow. And this is Vita Day number 27. I'm almost done with Vita. Um, I'm not sure what video I have planned to do tomorrow. I might do something with the babies, like with the actual babies, not haul. Maybe I'll feed Dixie. I mean, I don't have a feeding Dixie video, so. I might do a feeding Dixie video tomorrow. It'll be fun.
So thanks for watching guys and your support and comments mean a lot to me. So yeah, bye bye.